What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you from the car with a backseat passenger with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I was not going in there for very much. Um, I literally only came out of there with one of the two things that I went in there for because I had seen Twisted Gypsy haul some electric toothbrushes from the dollar store one time and I kind of went in there hoping to find some myself but they didn't have any electric toothbrushes. So I literally just got the, the fruit snacks that I went in there for um, and picked up a few extra things while I was in there. So a lot of this is gonna be food items because I was trying my best not to spend a lot on non-food related things. Um, so I picked up a little bit. So I'm gonna try to run through this um, kind of quickly if I can. I'm parked out down a little bit outside of Walmart because we're about to go into Walmart. Um, there is plenty of empty split spaces between me and the store. And of course, somebody parks right beside me. So, um, why do people do that? Why do people do that? Like, I'm parked down here because I want to be left alone, so why are you parking right beside of me? Anywho, I'm going to try to, I don't know if they're looking at me or not, windows are tinted, um, but I'm going to try to, there she goes, <laughs> I want to try to do this all, y'all, um, so I'm just going to dive into it, um, the Dollar Tree is like right back there, um, and then I got, we got our stuff in Dollar Tree, and I need to come to Walmart to pick up some cat litter and maybe go ahead and get the electric toothbrushes here as much as I didn't want to. I might have to, but, um, so yeah, I'm sorry. Let me do, let me do my Dollar Tree haul. Um, first thing I'm, I'm going to show y'all is a, um, Starbucks Frappuccino. This was not a dollar. I think this was like $3.25 or $3.75. Um, cause yeah, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree is getting into higher priced items, including food. Um, I saw a lot of $5 food um in the freezers so this i think like i said i think this was like 375 if i'm not mistaken um but i know it wasn't a dollar um 375 yes yeah, sorry i have my receipt right here um i think that was the only thing i got that wasn't a dollar and a quarter yeah so everything else in here is a dollar and a quarter so we're gonna start out with a um tote bag that I got. They're, they had them literally like right there at the register. Um, it was one of those like where you kind of walk down a little aisle to get up to the, where the registers are. And this Dollar Tree actually has some self-checkout um, registers as well. Um, and I was able to use one of the self-checkout ones. So just a big plastic tote. Um, they have a several designs that you could get. Um, I'm trying to get a few totes like this so that I can put stuff in. Um, so that I can put it, put it away or put it in the storage, put it in the closet, something, just some things that I, some bags that I can put things in. <laughs> you can hold on to it, honey. Abby's back there. I gave her my, um, flavored water that I left the house with. Um, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and, well, let me, let me give you all the non-food stuff because it's a lot of a smaller, <laughs> a lot of a smaller um, area. So we got, in the toys, I got Abby some plastic food. Um, just some plastic foods. I couldn't decide which ones to get her. So we got some that are fruit. We got one that is vegetables. And then we got one that's like different like different kind of food items. You've got fries, you've got hot dogs, you've got a chicken leg in there. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> fries. And then there's like a soda right there. So um, just some classic food to play with. And then she also saw, we also like in the summer stuff, they've got all their summer stuff out. Um, she found some ice cream sunglasses, some ice cream glasses that she wanted. Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and take these out and give them to her. You want your ice cream glasses? Okay. 
so just some really cute ice cream glasses let me see if i can try them on yeah i'm not gonna be able to put them on because of my hat but i think these are <laughs> so i'll take a picture and i'll put it in um so you can see what she looks like in them um and next up we picked up some band-aids and it came with something that's falling out of it um we picked up some um dinosaur band-aids and I think those are just like dinosaur shaped band-aids. Um, there are originally 16, but they're giving you a bonus of um, five extra. So there's 21 in here. Y'all, we have we have figured out that we're not going to be able to use those band-aids from Timu. Because she started having breakouts from them. So no, no, more, no more bandages from Timu, unfortunately. Um, I also picked up, what would a Dollar Tree haul be if I didn't pick up some nails? Um, so I saw these actually right as we were about to head to check out. They had them in a separate place. Um, and these are some uh, almond shaped. These are uh, ombre. So you have kind of a light pink to like a slightly darker pink. Um, I just thought these were really pretty. And they're almond shaped, so it's my thing. So really pretty. Um, I do wish the Dollar Store, I do wish they would give you more because they're literally only giving you six possible option sizes for each hand um and i have kind of an in-between size like this is the thumb size right here right here that you see right here right here <laughs> that's what we southerners say right here um that's like the thumb size and that's actually a little big for my thumb so but they're pretty i'm going to try to maybe if i just absolutely have to wear them maybe i can file them down um like a little bit like on the side or something i don't know we'll see but i just thought these were really pretty and then the, i also saw something hanging from a a little strip thing uh, right on the end of a aisle um this is called a makeup vanishing towel it says no soap needed so apparently this is like a makeup wiping towel that you don't need to put soap or water or anything on. Um, well, I guess you do need to put water. Run the towel under warm water. Squeeze to remove excess water. Gently rub and massage over face to remove makeup. Follow with your nightly skin care routine. So makeup removing towel with no need to put soap or anything on it. So I'm gonna give that a shot. And see how that works. I'm gonna give that a shot tonight. So next up, um, I found some texturizing hair perfume. Um, and I did smell this. Um, I guess I picked up one that didn't have somebody's already tried out, or maybe it just comes that full. But I did already smell this, and it does smell like an actual perfume. It smells like kind of like a vintagey kind of perfume, but it does smell like a perfume. So, let me see. So, yeah. Just make sure your hair smell good. Your what? Your train? Oh, well, um, we'll, we'll get you your fruit later when we get home, okay? She's wanting her little food, toys. And then I, lastly, in the non-food stuff, I picked up another bottle of uh, fingernail polish remover because I'm almost out after taking all of the gel polish off so that I could put these on. Um, but I picked up another bottle of acetone, 100% acetone nail polish remover. I wouldn't mind so much of just like painting regular solid nail polishes on my fingernails. Um, maybe on my like some false solid false nails but dollar, dollar store their fingernail polish is not gel polish so it's that kind of polish that you gotta put it on and sit there and wait and do absolutely nothing for the next 30 minutes I can't yeah I don't have time for that um so that's all the non-food stuff I got I've got some um, insulated bags in my trunk that I'm gonna put this stuff in. Cause I did get some stuff from the pro from the, the cooler section. So next up, 
I did pick up a couple more of these um, tonkatsu ramen um, because I, I got one of these in the last haul. And yes, I know somebody's looking at me. Um, I picked up a, I had picked up one of these in the last haul. This one and a curry one, I think. Um, this one is really good. I do really like the fact that you get the um, chili sauce. It's like a chili oil type of stuff. I do like that they give it to you in a separate packet. So you can kind of customize how much you want to put in there. Um, and I had put about half of the packet. Um, it's about the same size packet as you would get your seasonings in with ramen. Um, and I put about half the packet in there um, when I ate when I ate my last one. And I think maybe going forward, I'll probably put no more than that because even that was a little bit like after the first couple of bites, um, I started really feeling it, and it was a little bit on the spicy side. So I'll probably dial it back just a little bit. Um, next time I eat it but even then it still wasn't that bad so um picked up two more of the tonkatsu ramen I almost got a, a five pack of like the regular top ramen but all he had was beef um and I thought I'll just I'll get it later I don't eat that much that much ramen um but it's something good to have on hand like if you just want it like something not really quick but you just want something easy to cook um, I did forget about this. This I did find in the health and beauty aisle. Um, these are just some B12, extra strength B12 gummies. And there are 14 in here. Um, these are supposed to be good for energy and uh, brain power. So I'm going to give these a shot and see if they help any. <laughs> um, it says serving size two gummies. So this is good for about a week. So if you take two every day, this is good for a week. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, in the frozen section, I picked up some pizzas. Um, they had some Michelinas or Michelinas, um, frozen pizzas. These are like little small pizzas. Obviously, you can see they're not that big. Um, I got a Michelinas, and then they also had some Celeste brand pizzas. Um, it says you can microwave them, which is awesome. Well, these you can microwave this one too. Two minutes. Um, but this one you can microwave as well. Um, and these aren't very big either. So they had these. Uh, I got one in the deluxe in this one. And the sausage and pepperoni. But these will be good for like a quick, um, quick lunch or something. Um, and y'all... I found some of my Victor Allen's canned coffee. So I'm not gonna take all of them out, but they, they had they had two flavors in it. So I picked up two of each. They had the, it's the Victor Allen's iced coffee lattes. I picked up two in the mocha and I picked up two in the caramel. I love these things to death, y'all. I love them to death. They're so good to like just grab and go, you know, for a quick a latte drink to take with you or you know just to kind of grab something but love these guys love them and the i did try the pumpkin spice one time back around like a fall time it was pretty good so, um and then i also picked up two cans of two cans of spaghettios no. spaghettios with meatballs You know, she used to not have to do any, have anything to do with meatballs, and now she kind of digs them a little bit more. Um, she'll eat them now. Um, and I also picked up one of these Southgate All Beef Chili with Beans. Um, I'm going to see how this compares up with the canned Wendy's chili. Because if y'all didn't know, Wendy's has, has put out their chili in cans. But y'all, it's $5 a can. $5 a can. And I'm not trying to pay $5 a can every time I want some Wendy's chili. You can get it cheaper at the restaurant. I don't know what's up with that. But I picked up a can of this to try one day. Maybe with some saltine crackers kind of broken up in it and mixed into it and everything. Maybe some sour cream in there. Um, to kind of try it and see how it, how it stacks up with the Wendy's chili. So, because it doesn't look like there's very much in it. It looks like it's just beans and meat. Um, water, beef, beans, modified 
food starch, textured soy protein, concentrate, chili pepper, tomato paste, salt, onion powder, cumin, garlic powder, oregano, caramel powder. Caramel powder? Okay. Um, so yeah. We're gonna try that. Oh, oh, and uh, one last thing in this bag. Um, they had some, a few different like nor sides. So I picked up the cheddar broccoli spiral pasta. So this isn't the rice. This is the um, spiral pasta. Looks pretty good. I think it'd be good with uh, as a side for like some chicken maybe one day. So pick that up. I got just one of those. You still back there, Abby? You still back there? Don't break your glasses. Then you won't have them. Then it'll be all broken and you won't be able to wear them. So, next up, food category. I picked her up two boxes of the Shark's Gummies. She really seemed to like these. So, last time I went to the dollar store closer to where I live at, last time I went to a dollar store and I wanted to get some of these, they didn't have them. These are actually, the gummies were actually separate. They weren't even near the rest of the food stuff. They were on a whole different aisle. Um, but I picked her up two boxes of these. I picked her up a box of the Sunkissed fruit snacks in mixed fruit. And the Sunkissed fruit snacks in the Berry Blast. Yeah, Berry Blast. These, oh, these things always seem like they're opened. They always seem like they're, like they're not very well, um, closed up yeah um i also picked up some some more drink mixes i picked up the dole peach mango um dole from tropical splash and i also picked up some more welch's strawberry peach i wanted to get up some more of the um it was like the peach tea i forget what it was, the lipton is it lipton I forget, it was a peach tea mix um, that I got a uh, couple couple times ago. Um, they didn't have it, have it in the peach. They only had it in the lemon tea. And I kind of went back and forth on whether or not to get a box of it because we already have some at home. So I just, I passed by it this time. I didn't get any. Um, and we were heading to checkout down that little road that you walk down. They had some Sour Patch gummies. Um, we're going to try it. She's, she's going to try it and see if she likes it. Um, it says not, this Sour Patch Kids. So it says not so sour. So, let's see if she likes it. Abby, you want a, you want a grape candy? Here. Try that. I don't know if you can see her. Is it good? Mmm. Is it too sour? Yeah, it's too sour. Is it sour? It's not. Huh? You like it? Okay. So, thumbs up from Abby for that. Um, let me see. <laughs> if I can, I'm going to try one. Because I'm not into sour stuff at all. They're actually soft. And I can't usually do like real hard gummies. They're not actually sour. They have a bit of tartness to it, but they're not sour. Mm -hmm, okay. I'll give her a couple more. There you go. One at a time. Mm -hmm. Which are good. They're not actually sour. They're, they have like just a hint of tartness. But they're really good. And they had them in different flavors. They had them like strawberry, watermelon, peach, tropical. So, now I know. Next time I go back, I can get those. Those are good for her. Sorry, it takes me a little bit longer to chew stuff up. 
Um, so then they have these. They have it's it's called a creme parfait. Looks like it's orange, maybe. Um, I can't even begin to try to read the ingredients on that. But um, it's like a creme. It says creme parfait, like these. And they had they only had three left, so I got all three. I was just gonna get like one or two, so I got but I got all three because like I can't just leave just one on the shelf. So I got all three. Um, but I think they'll be pretty good. I think it, it looks like maybe like an orange. Like it's jello mixed in with like some creamy like yogurty type stuff. But I think these look like they'll be pretty good. So um sorry. I'm gonna put these in with the pizzas so that I can put them put it all in my insulated bags. And then the other stuff I'm gonna put that's in the other bag. Okay. So I think that's gonna do it guys i think that's it um like i said it doesn't feel like a very big haul um it's just a lot of food items um but i just want to go ahead and get this out of the way so i don't have to worry about doing it at home because i think when we get home i'm just going to put my pajamas back on and i'm going to chill um if you have if you can't tell i am wearing my black t-shirt that has the print along the bottom and obviously i am wearing my big pink necklace with the matching earrings see i told you there were matching earrings and uh, hat also from Timu. Um, I'll go ahead and link that down below as well. Um, and you can't see them, but I have my ripped jeans on, of course, because that's my favorite jeans. And I have some slides on that are have like the mesh on the top. Not a slide. It's like um, oh, what would you call it? An es not espadrille, but it's like it's it's fully on the front, but it is it doesn't have a back to it. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll link those down below as well. These are they're super comfortable and they're super easy to just throw on and go. Um, but I think that's gonna do it, guys. Um, I hope uh, I hope you saw something in here that spurs you on to go check out your local Dollar Tree. And with Dollar Tree, each one can carry something different, guys. But like I went the, the the Dollar Tree that I just went to. I is not a Dollar Tree that I go to very often. I've literally only been here like maybe one other time because it's not in the direction that I usually go. Um, I had to go to um, drop off some paperwork at social services um, just to renew our uh, SNAP benefits. And um, so on the way back, um, I stopped off at the, it's a nature's own bread store. Um, stopped off there, we got a few things there. Um, and then I wanted to come by Dollar Tree to get some the shark fruit snacks and the electric toothbrushes that they didn't have and Andy said he needed some why do they always park right beside me and he said he needed some cat food if I could if I was able to pick up some while I was out and I said that's fine so we are here at Walmart and I'm gonna go we're gonna go in pick up some cat food and maybe a couple other items and then we're gonna head back home but that's it guys i'm gonna let y'all go i'm gonna put this other stuff in my insulated bags in my trunk and um we're gonna get on back <laughs> but i'll see y'all later and until i see you guys again be good bye for now did i forget to mention guys it is hot as heck out here um my temperature gauge on my car says 90 degrees and it was only like 82 i think when we left the house at like one or something um but yeah it's hot i'm second guessing my choice to wear a black shirt so there you go